This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Harry's. Hello, internet friends. I am John Rettinger, and welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. The title should give it up, so I'm not an actual buffalo. This is where you get to ask me any questions you've got from the world of tech, and oftentimes, like, way far out of the world of tech. Uh, the first question comes from E1 Slavin, who asks at John Four Lakers. What is the best Android phone so far in 2015? Best one is subjective, but I'll tell you what's been the best one for me so far in 2015, and that is, if I get a drum roll, please, Ron, the Galaxy S6 Edge has been my favorite phone of 2015. I went and bought one myself. I love the way it looks, love the way it feels, love the way it performed. I wish battery life was a little bit better. I don't mind the lack of expandable storage, removable battery. I just like me that phone. Next question comes from at MadHit27 who asks at John 4 Lakers, how likely is it for Apple to replace the home button with a virtual button powered by Force Touch? The answer is very, very likely. Uh, Force Touch currently only exists on the Apple Watch, and if you ever use an Apple Watch, you can really see how that integration could work on a mobile device. That was my first thought uh, when I used it. But according to the not reliable folks at Digitimes, Digitimes is like the tech equivalent of being like, hey, I heard from a friend, 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 heard from a friend, heard from a friend that you don't like me, you like me like me. So take this with like a grain of salt that's like, like that, like that big. Like the size of your head, big. But they are saying that Apple's new touch and display driver integration, or it's just called TDD chip, I will make it possible to offer an even thinner device with less of a bezel and a whole plane display. Instead of just pressing the home button, you'd simply just touch the screen, oh, which would feature the built-in fingerprint sensor. I'm guessing though, Apple could also just use some version of Force Touch to simulate the experience of pressing down on a button. But it's looking likely that we'll see that. I wouldn't bet on it happening for the 6S or the 6S Plus, uh, but probably on the generation after that, the iPhone 7. So when you look at this face, what do you see? Chances are, your first thing you're gonna say is rugged, really just good looks. But the next thing you're gonna say is just too much facial hair. And I've convinced myself that I don't shave often because I don't like it, but really shaving just got kind of expensive. Uh, fortunately though, the folks at Harry's are here to help. They offer premium razors at non-premium prices. The starter kit is just 15 bucks. That includes the razor, three blades, your choice of Harry's shave cream or foaming gel. Personally, I'm a gel man. I like it in my shoes and on my face. As an added bonus, you can get five bucks off your first purchase when you use code TECHNOBUFFALO, all one word and lowercase. After using the code, you can also get an entire month worth of shaving for just 10 bucks. Cheap, great quality razors, and then you can be baby soft and smooth. Next question comes from at MadHavShinoa who asks, at John Four Lakers, what do you think of Watch OS, Apple's new Watch OS? Do you think there will be a new Watch slash OS every year like the iPhone? Yes. I think every year we will have a brand new Apple Watch because from a profit margin standpoint, it just makes sense. Force new products on people, people will buy them, people will buy apps, and it's the way Apple's been doing their business for years. So yes, I absolutely expect a new watch and a new OS to come every single year. So at this point, you know, maybe wait for the Apple Watch 2. Already hearing rumors it's gonna feature a camera, so that could be kind of helpful for FaceTime calls and also probably creepy when you're out in public, uh, and other additions that um, we could see, including a thinner casing, better battery life. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the episode of Ask the Buffalo. I hope you enjoyed it. I love making these questions. Keep them coming. Uh, until next time, I'm John Rettinger. Talk to you guys next video. Bye-bye.